I want to offer you this depiction because trauma overlaps with these protective survival responses. Whether your go-to is that yellow light, that fight flight, or that red light, that freeze. These occur when we experience trauma. And oftentimes, we can feel a deep sense of guilt, of shame, or shut down when we experience trauma. And I want to take a moment to acknowledge this and let you know that our protective mechanisms are not bad. They were designed to keep us alive and keep us safe. But now that we know what they are, and maybe we are stuck in one of these responses, we can thank them and communicate a new reality to our current experience of life. So we're no longer carrying our survival responses with us as a result of trauma we've experienced in the past. Letting our nervous systems know that today we can communicate a new reality of safety. Y'all, I'm going to walk you through a quick exercise. This is a state changer. That's what I call them in vital side. And this is a way to shift and change the way you feel right here and right now. And to help you get an understanding of how to start communicating a new signal to your nervous systems. Because again, they were super useful to you in the moment you experienced trauma and danger. They protected you. They brought you to this place where you are today. Where you're able to learn or to receive or Even just accept this information and be here. We want to thank our survival responses for showing up and model to them a new way of being where we can feel safe, connected, and supported. So take a moment And let's just shake anything out, any itches or twitches. You can shake out your hands or shake out your head. You can shimmy out your body. You can shake out your booty if you want to stand up. Shake out your feet. My favorite is blowing out the lips. Sloughing off any excess anxious energy that we may be feeling right here and right now. And when you're ready, come to stillness and take a look at this picture in front of you. Paying attention to the colors on the screen, the mountains, the vastness of this beautiful landscape. Becoming familiar with what the water may feel like on your feet, your bare feet. Is it cool to touch? What would the fresh air in this picture smell like? Taking a big whiff of it. You can feel your lungs expand even a little bit more as they take in this fresh, cool air. How would it feel like to be this person at the end of this walkway? To be sitting there, surrounded by this exquisite nature? Go ahead and bring up A butterfly. You can open your eyes and look at what that is. This little butterfly looking hand gesture and put it right over your heart. And 
Let's take one round of that four-sided breath, that box breath, inhaling in for two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Begin to breathe naturally again. 